Hello guys, see you again. Today I will try to solve the in insert interval. Actually, it's a, um I think it's a much similar to the merge intervals uh, problem. Okay, let's see it. Given a set of non-overlapping intervals, pay attention to non-overlapping. Insert a new interval into the intervals. Merge if necessary. You may assume that the intervals were initially sorted. Yes, it's initially sorted according to their start times. So which means we do not have to sort it again. Input intervals 1, 3, 6, uh, 6 9, interv new interval 2, 5, and output 1, 5, 6, 9. How do you think about this problem? Uh, we are given a sorted intervals. And we need to insert a new interval. Actually, we can do one pass. We can check the current interval if it has overlap with our new interval. If it has overlap, we update our new intervals, uh, start time and end time. If not, for example, if the current interval is totally before uh, the new interval, we just add that into the result interval. And if the current interval is totally behind the new interval, and the, all the intervals after this current interval will also be directly added to its result intervals. So the only things uh, we have to uh, worry about is how to merge the current interval and the new interval. Actually, we should up, up, update it to, we should pick these two intervals, minimum start time and the maximum end time. Why? In this case, we can guarantee these two intervals um, have been merged. Is that right? Okay. Do not forget, in the end, check if the new interval is now. If it's now. Yeah, we are done. If not, not now, add it to the result. Okay, let's close. List uh, interval, uh, interval, which is the result new array, array list. Okay. <clears throat> let's do it. For current interval, I in intervals, if I dot is totally before the current interval. If it's end time, it's less than new interval. I'm oh, sorry, new interval, interval start time. We just add it to the result. And if it's totally after the current interval time. Oh, yes, there is another, yeah, there is another condition, which is new interval is not if it's not yeah all the intervals should be just added to the result okay what is another what is another yeah another situation which is intervals end time is totally less than idle start time we should add uh add uh, yeah add new interval and uh, Set the new interval into null and add the current interval. Okay, this is the overlap situation, right? This is the overlap. We just let the new, um, as I told before, the new interval start time uh, equal to max, uh, sorry, max minimum new, I, sorry, new interval start time and the current interval start time and update the new interval end time equal to mass max new interval end time and current end time and finally check if the new interval equal to now okay if it's not just a return risk else risk at new interval and return yes okay yeah 
Thank you for watching. Hope you like it.